Hey, it's Laurie. Thanks for stopping by. Today, I made my projects with Dollar Tree Supplies. I'm starting my first project by using one of the Dollar Tree pumpkins. I'm using some white chalk paint and I just mixed in a little bit of my orange acrylic paint to cover the base of the pumpkin. This will make the exterior more porous and it will be easier for me to hot glue on the leaves. With the paint dry, I'm now removing the stem and it's very easy, it just pops right off. I'm using an assortment of fall leaves from the Dollar Tree. I'm using my hot glue gun and I'm hot gluing them onto the pumpkin. I'm overlapping the leaves as I glue them on and making sure that I cover up any of the painted surface. I continued working my way around the pumpkin until it was covered in leaves. I'm replacing the stem with a piece of wood so I'm enlarging the opening. I'm also making a smaller hole in the bottom and this will be the base for my twine. I measured out six double strands and attached one in the top and the other in the bottom. And I continued doing this until all six strands were attached. I'm using four of the Dollar Tree green leaves and all I'm doing is hot gluing them around the center opening. For my stem, I'm using a piece of wood that I found outside and I'm covering it with my twine. While I was attaching it, I did use a little hot glue to help hold the strands in place. When I was done, I used my hot glue gun and I attached it to the center opening on the top. I'm using some leftover flower stems to make the tendrils. I removed them from the base and then twisted the wire around my finger. To finish up my pumpkin project, all I did was slip the tendrils into the top. This pumpkin was super easy to make and I think it would look great in all different sizes. To make my pumpkin sign, I'm using one of these pictures from the Dollar Tree. After I remove the glass and the backing, I'm using the same chalk paint that I used on my pumpkin to cover the frame. Once it's dry, I'm now going to give it a coat of orange acrylic paint. I'm using this pretty buffalo check ribbon to accent the frame. I cut it to fit and made sure to leave a little extra to hang over the edge. Then all I did was glue it into place. When I was finished, I flipped the frame over and I glued down the tabs. You can always embellish the edges of the frame, but I have so much going on for fall, I just wanted something kind of simple. To finish up this quick and easy project, I added this sweet free pumpkin printout and I will link that site below. To make my rustic pumpkin, I'm starting with these little wooden pieces from the Dollar Tree. This project is so easy to make, I'm just hot gluing the pieces together. And I'm starting my base with four. For the next row, I'm going to attach five pieces. Then my middle row will be six pieces. My next row will be five pieces and the top row will be four. I've seen these pumpkins made with wine corks, so if you have any of those on hand, that would work great too. Now that we have our pumpkin constructed, I'm going to add a top coat of orange acrylic paint. I'm using a piece of orange Dollar Tree ribbon to wrap around the outside of the pumpkin. Then all I need to do is hot glue it into place. I'm using a piece of the green Dollar Tree burlap ribbon to use as the top leaves. I cut off each side and then frayed them a bit to give them more of a rustic look. I 
folded the ribbon in half and then angled the ends. After that, I secured the center with some floral wire so that it would resemble two leaves. I made a small bow out of some raffia and then I hot glued it to the top. I then attached my burlap leaves. To make the stem, I'm gluing two of the little wooden pieces together. To give it some texture, I'm wrapping it with my twine. When I'm done, I'm painting the stem with some brown acrylic paint, but this is completely optional. Now that it's dry, I'm attaching it to the top. And as my finishing touch, I just tied a little extra raffia around the stem. A quick haircut and this little rustic pumpkin cost me a dollar to make. To make my card, I'm using one of the wooden Dollar Tree crates and I'm using one of the tumbling blocks to cover the opening in the back. I'm using E6000 for this project because long term, the hot glue just won't hold it together. I cut two medium sized craft sticks and I glued them over the opening on the inside of the crate. I'm using a small Dollar Tree dowel so I'm making sure to leave a large enough opening. I'll be using two large skewers for this project so I'm just going to snip off the end of one to make a handle for my cart. I'm adding the skewers to add some dimension. I'm measuring them and cutting for each in the width, the depth, and the length. And once again, I'm using my E6000 to attach them on the top, the bottom, and the sides. Once it had dried, I then gave the cart and the handle two coats of white acrylic paint. Once it's completely dry, it's now time to attach the handle. I slipped the handle through the opening and I marked where I wanted it to set. And then using my scissors, I made two notches on the marked areas. I slid it through the opening and lined up the notches and then I applied some E6000 to help hold it in place. Once I was done, I used two pieces of painter's tape to hold it in place until it's set up. I'm adding two different paper signs to the sides. My pumpkin printable and sweet red apples I made on Canva for free. Using my Mod Podge, I attached each one to a different side. Once both sides were dry, I then used my X-Acto knife and I ran along the original lines in the crate. When both sides were done, I then used a pencil to accent where I had cut. Using that same pencil, I accented the back, the front, and all the sides. I'm using these tiny Dollar Tree letter stickers and I'm adding the word fall onto the back. I'm painting eight water bottle caps. Four are orange, four are red, and I'm also painting three small wooden beads. Turning the beads into apples, I'm using a snip of a twig for the stems, and all I did was add a little hot glue to the bottom, and then I fed the stem up through. To make the leaves on the apple, I cut a piece from a silk leaf stem vein, and then I glued it onto the top. Adding them to my little wagon cart, I just hot glued them into place. To add the same 3D effect, to the other side, I'm cutting one of the Dollar Tree pumpkins in half. And it's as easy as just gluing it into place. For my wheels, I'm using four of these tin Dollar Tree storage containers, and I'm spraying them with my black spray paint. Once they dry, and because the paint scratches off so easily, I'm giving each of them a coat of Mod Podge. I glued two orange and two red bottle caps onto the center of each tire. To accent the hubcaps, I'm gluing some buttons in the center. 
Using a screwdriver, I punched a hole in the center of the remaining bottle caps. I'm measuring two skewers on the bottom and these will become the axle. I already have two wheels made. And to complete them, I'm sliding the red cap on the orange wheel axle. After adding some E6000, I'm then attaching it to the inside of the red wheel. And now I'm doing the same. I'm attaching the orange cap to the red wheel and then using my E6000, I'm attaching it to the tire. I let them set up overnight and using my E6000, I attached them to the bottom of my wagon cart. While gluing them on, I made sure that both orange were on the pumpkin side and both red were on the apple side. I'm so happy with the way my wagon cart came out. I love that it's two-sided and I can use it to display apples and pumpkins during the fall. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed my fall projects. If you haven't yet subscribed and you think you'd like to come back and hang out with me again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.